It is 12.45 a.m. I'm just about to go to bed. Boo is sleeping on the towel on the patio chair. It's so cute. 7.46 a.m. Look who's on the top of the cat tower. It's Splash. Hey, Splash. Good morning, Splash. And there's Boo on his patio chair. It looks like he just woke up. It's 9 a.m. and Boo is drinking his water. This might be like a daily routine for him. He eats the food out of the feeder when the feeder dispenses it around 6 a.m. Then he jumps onto the patio chair and he grooms himself. Then he goes back to sleep and he takes a nap. Then he gets up and he drinks his water. I'll go outside in about 20 to 30 minutes to give him his food. It's 9.32 a.m. and I was going to go outside and bring Boo some food, but he's sleeping on the chair and he looks very comfortable. So I'm gonna let him sleep, but I'm gonna keep checking outside uh, I don't know, every like 10 minutes or so because it looks like it's supposed to rain and I don't want to leave some stuff out there in the rain. Like I don't like leaving the carrier out in the rain. I don't like leaving the play mat out in the rain. And I want to put the scratcher that's under the house in his apartment. I want to raise that up a little bit on a piece of wood. I'm not going to use the platform that I used last time, but I have a piece of wood that I'm going to put underneath it. So right now I'm just going to let him sleep. I'll do some stuff inside. It is 10.25 a.m. I have to get moving today, so I'm coming out to give Boo's food. Hey, Boo! Hello, Boo! You being a good boy? You being a good boy, Boo? Yeah? Want to eat some breakfast? I know you had the dry food. So it looks like all of the dry food in the feeder has been eaten. All of the food in this bowl has been eaten, but that was probably from whoever came by the patio overnight. It's really cold out today. And it's, uh, I feel raindrops, like intermittent raindrops. Like, I wouldn't even call it a drizzle, just, it's kind of just spitting right now. Okay, boo. There's food under the table, okay? You're gonna be a good boy? I'm gonna put a lot of stuff inside because it's raining. It's gonna rain today, so I'm gonna put stuff inside that I don't want to get wet. I just put Hydrox's food under his table. So this cat shelter is a, another place that Boo can go to keep dry. Hey Boo. How are you? You being a good boy? You being a nice boy? I expect you to be a nice boy, Boo. I expect you to be a nice boy. And you know what, Boo? There's plenty of food for everybody. There's plenty of food for you and Hydrox, okay? Plenty of food for everyone. So I'm gonna put your play mat inside. I'm gonna put some stuff inside because it's gonna rain, all right? But you've, you have plenty of places to go if it rains. So what I might do is I might uh, take this toy, since he likes this toy, see he just came here. And I might put the toy in here, like that. I just put it in the house. So he might smell it and go in there. Okay, boo. These tents I leave out because they're nylon, they're kind of weatherproof. Uh, this, um, this is plush, so this I like to put away. Uh, the carrier, I also like to put this away. Um, I just don't want this getting all yucked up with rainwater. This is like the first thing that I could bring back out after it rains because it is plastic. It's not going to absorb any water. Simba's watching from the door. Hello, Simba. 
Hello, Simba. Oh, so I'm squatting down here with Simba, and Boo just totally rubbed up against my back. Hey, Simba. There's Simba, and there's Boo. Hello. Hello. Say hello. Do you remember each other? Look at Simba. Simba's going into like a submissive pose. No, Boo. So this toy I'm putting inside, um, there's two hanging toys on the lounge chair, so those stay outside. This one goes inside. I'm also I'm going to take in this towel. I just don't need the towel getting soaked. That'll be a mess. And if he wants to sit on the chair, he can sit on the chair. Okay, so if we get rain today, oh, look at that. He sniffed it and rubbed it instead of scratching. That's good. So if we get rain today, um, it's not supposed to be a heavy rain. So I am just going to use this piece of wood. Um, I found it in the garage. I don't even know if the area under here will get wet at all. Um, there's a little bit of water on here. I wonder where that's from. Oh, look. Someone, someone carried that in there. Um, or maybe got blown in by the landscapers. I am just going to put this scratcher on a piece of wood and I'm going to leave it like that. The reason why I'm using wood under the scratcher is because if the carpet gets wet and if the water um, goes in this way on the carpet, then the wood will block the water from being absorbed into the uh, cardboard scratcher. Now, obviously the wood can get wet itself, but we're not supposed to get that much rain and I don't have any other materials um, that would totally block the transfer of water from the rug to the cardboard. So, you know, like anything with feral cats, a lot of it is just experiment as you go along and revise um, each experiment um, or revise each project each time based on the results of the prior uh, experiment. It's, you know, it's a lot like science. You know, you try one experiment, um, then you have your results, and then you do your next experiment based on the results of the prior experiment. I'll brush Boo for a few minutes because I know he likes it. Now he's rubbing up against me. Watch, let's do it. Ready? <laughs> I wonder what other tricks I could teach this cat. What do you guys think? What are some good tricks? I don't think he would do like shake hands. We had a cat that used to like shake hands. Like a dog, you know how like you do a dog that will like shake hands, give me a paw? We had a cat that used to do that. Hey, Boo. You're a nice boy, Boo. I need to get like a brushing timer. I don't have my phone with me that has a timer on it. Right now I just have the camera in one hand, the brush in the other hand. I need to get like, like one of those egg timers or something. Okay, now he's gonna go over to the food area. Okay, see how he likes to rub up against the food section? Okay, now he's gonna eat. So now I am gonna go inside. Simba, can I come inside? Can I come inside, Simba? I don't wanna hit your paw, come on. Move, move over. Move over. It is 11.05 a.m. and I have to get going. I have to get to my office. And here's Boo hanging by the back door. Hey, Boo. How are you, Boo? Hello, you talking to me? Okay, Boo, be a good boy today. I'll see you later. So there's a lot of landscapers around. You could probably hear them. Uh, they're in some nearby yards. And uh, that kind of stuff always upsets the outside cats. Kind of stresses them out for a while. Okay, Boo, you take it easy. Go in your apartment. You can hang out in your apartment. You have some toys in there. 
You have two toys in there. You have the scratcher and you have a nice rug to lay on, okay? You also have that cat house. So that new cat house is nice and dry. So there's plenty of options. You have the old cat house also, the one from last year. So there's lots of warm and dry options, boo. And see you later and be good. Don't cause any fights, okay? Don't start any fights. Don't attack Hydrox. Got it? Got it? See you later. I'll see you later, boo. He's watching me like go into my car, but he never really moves past this part of the patio. He actually ventured out onto the driveway right now. I wonder if I could get him in my car. What do you guys think? Do you think he's the kind of cat who likes to ride in cars? It is 6.35 p.m. and I'm just getting home. Hello, boo. How are you? I'm holding like four bags right now, so my hands are definitely full. Hello. Hello. You sleeping? It's a sleepy day, boo, because everything is wet. I'm pretty sure he was sleeping uh, in his apartment uh, because I got a little notification that the camera detected motion as I was getting out of the car. Hello, boo. It looks like everything under the house has been staying dry. Uh, you could see the line on the cement where it's wet and where it's dry and it hasn't even come near the carpet yet. So here's Simba and there's Boo. Hey Simba! Do you recognize Boo? You guys know each other Simba? You know Boo? Hey Boo, I'll be out in a minute, okay? Let's see what he does. Somebody you recognize Boo? You know Boo? Boo's watching me pet Simba. Stella's waiting for her dinner near the empty breakfast bowls. Three cats waiting for dinner. Hey guys, we're gonna eat. Want some food? Yeah? You guys want food? So I just opened up a can of Frisky's chicken dinner and this is what it is. It's the bits instead of the pate. And I am not a fan of these bits at all. And this is what the can looks like. The reason why I don't like this food is because of the ingredients. So there's chicken, liver, meat byproducts, wheat gluten, turkey, soy flour, cornstarch modified, artificial and natural flavors, and then it goes into a whole bunch of like um, vitamin um, supplements and stuff like that. So the fact that wheat gluten is so high in the list and the fact that soy flour is even an ingredient and it's the like one, two, three, four, five, it's like the sixth ingredient. I'm sorry, but I do not like soy flour for anyone. Cats, dogs, humans, nobody. I've had so many bad experiences with soy flour, I can't even begin to tell you. So Hydrox and Boo will get this today. I'm gonna to put some dry food in here also. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer the pate. So here's the can of the pate. The ingredients are turkey, poultry, byproducts, water, sufficient for processing meat byproducts, liver, fish, rice, artificial natural flavors, guar gum, um, carrageenan, and then all of the supplements. There's no soy flour in here. Here's Boo by the back door. Hello, Boo. I'm coming out with your food. You gonna move over? Okay, move over. Come on. Yeah, now it's wet and yucky. Wet and yucky. Want to eat under your table or under the big table? Your table or the big table? You want your table? Yeah? Over here? 
Okay. Let me take let me take this away. So he didn't eat all of the wet food, but he ate the dry food that was in the wet food and some of the wet food. He's already eating it off the top of the table. These are pretty much both the exact same thing, so my boo, I'll put it under here. I just gave it to him under the table and it's not really raining much at all, so he can eat it there. I'm gonna put this under Hydrox's table. I haven't seen Hydrox, but just in case he shows up. So it looks like either he ate some of his food or Boo ate some of his food. I am going to take all these bowls inside and wash them off along with all the other bowls that are inside waiting to be washed off. It is 7.14 p.m. and Boo is laying on the patio chair. He's just hanging out there. I'm not gonna go outside right now. I'm gonna eat dinner instead. It is 7.30 p.m. and it's cold out, it is wet out. Boo is still hanging out on the patio chair. I want him to go into his apartment under the house or I want him to go into one of the cat shelters. There's plenty of nice, cozy, dry spaces for him. I don't want him to hang out out there on the patio furniture and that is why I'm not going outside because I'm just gonna distract him. It's too wet to play with him on the rug. I don't want him rolling around on the wet concrete. So um, that's what I'm thinking right now. Those are what my plans are. And hopefully tomorrow it'll be much drier out and uh, I'll be able to hang out with Boo tomorrow morning. 7.57 p.m. And this is what's going on right now. Boo is in his apartment and he's on the cardboard cat scratcher. He's just scratching it. Now he's smelling it. And actually now he's sitting on it. It is 8.42 p.m. And Boo is sleeping on the cardboard cat scratcher in his apartment. I just came downstairs to spend some time with the cats. And this is what I see. Splash is hunting a bug. I don't know what kind of bug, but he sees something. There goes Simba to join. I don't know what they see. It looks like it's in the cardboard treat house. There's Stella sitting in one of her boxes. Hey Stella. And these two are hunting. <laughs> 